I listen to me weep right before I go to sleep. I'm walking. Yeah, I'm walking. Got no place to go home. See me walking. All right. So we're out for a wee walk. Well, no, yet or no, but we will be in the morning. Uh, we're just up in the Cairngorms again. Uh, up here we, Andy, over there in his van. Found a wee spot to park, and uh, just got to hang about here. Stay here tonight, and then head uh, head out tomorrow. We've got to do. Buy night more in the morning. Uh, that's the plan. Buy night more. Just realised that light's probably shining right at the camera. Anyway, so up here tonight it's freezing. It's definitely just below freezing. Yeah, uh, or just above freezing maybe. Well, I switched it on. It still had battery life left in. Uh, it must have been years before I'd used it. How it's did you manage to get the kind of L-shaped ad adapter thing for your for that we? Tripod. Well, that was a cold shoe thing. So. All oh, right. So it's already a cold shoe on the so side. I, I bought a cold shoe. Oh. So I bought a cold shoe, and it came with <clears throat> something that wasn't um, a flat, had a flat uh, base on it, right? Which was too, was too, um, too small to go in there. I uh, remember you showed us that. But this was something that I had already, so I took off bit that was on there and then just right, put that through there. So for tonight though we've got this wee Hudson Manhattan Rye. You can't see this. It's so bright vision. I know I know the night vision's gone but if if you could see this the sky tonight there's a bazillion stars. It's absolutely amazing. I've just spoiled it with this big flash of light in the camera, but <laughs> there is a bazillion stars. It's also really cold. It's also really cold. Good morning, wee guys. Better not let Paddy see you, because there's a chance there'll be a carnage. Friendly duck. Oh, oh. <coughs> oh there's, there's got to be trouble here. Paddy! Paddy! Paddy went after the ducks. Tragically. No, there's none. No, they got away from him. <laughs> they're shouting and bawling now for the whole. <laughs> and Paddy's like, where did they go? Aye, they're safe. They're safe, don't worry. No ducks were killed in the making of this film. <laughs> Andy's just batched up some blueberry pancakes, heated up with a bit of butter. So the plan this morning is just to do the single wee Monroe, buy night more. So first we party a walk here, just up through these woods, just up through these woods, up to the green locking. The green locking, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Over some wee bridges through the woods and uh, up to Lochin before we get out onto the open hillside. We'll get big full bellies anyway. Had a big breakfast. Andy made us some nice blueberry muffin pancakes. Blueberry pancakes with good butter. <laughs> and we went out for a dinner last night. Had a pizza. Nice barbecue chicken pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. 
Yeah, aye, it was good. Paddy wasn't allowed in, so he sat in the van. He's waiting for his pizza. He never got it. So tonight we've got a fish supper or something like that. Slumming it in the Cairn bombs. When leaving the car park, you find yourself in this amazing Caledonian pine forest. Scots pine is the only truly native pine tree in the UK. It is found in abundance in the Caledonian pine forest, which stretches across the Cairngorms National Park. It used to cover much more of Scotland, but only 1% of the original forest remains today. The Caledonian pine forest is a priority habitat, being home to rare and endangered species such as the Scottish wood ants, capercaillie, crested tit and Scottish crossbill. Mammals include the red squirrel, pine marten and Scottish wildcat. This is us at the, the green lochin, lochin wine you. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, show you some pictures, show you some images, but it's lovely. Beautiful down there. This is dead quick to get to this bit too. Absolutely quick to get. Yeah, no effort at all. Got a wee shot of the drone here, maybe. See where we should we get. Known locally as the Green Lochin, this is a fantastic spot to stop and have a look around. If you believe the folklore. The green colour comes from the pixies who wash their clothes in the loch at night. Some say, however, that the colour comes from algae in the water. I think personally it's the pixies. So that's us come out the out past the, the trees at Wooded area, round about the green locking, up onto this wee track. Kind of becoming more open. We're still not in the sun yet. We're hoping just up round this corner we'll get a wee bit of sun. We've had the shade on that way. And it's a wee bit chilly. There's some ice on the path here. And we're frozen over. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, stunning. Uh, but hopefully, just round this corner. Whoa! See? <laughs> Watch yourself! Got the crampon zone, ice axes out here. <laughs> Friday. Right there, we're just round this corner. And we should be out into the sunshine. There's Paddy. <laughs> the sun's out now. The sun's out. Mm, got sunglasses. Absolutely glorious. Oh, oh beautiful. And it feels so lucky when you get days like this. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Andy brought the weather. So, we're kind of heading up into the sun up there. Into the sunshine away up there. Take our time. Watch this bad boy. Come on this way then. Nice so this is us up about 600 metres here. Gentle wee climb up. This hill is 1,090 metres. So we've got a thick end of 400 metres to go. Great path. Stunning. Stunning. Rising from the flattish hills to the northeast of the main Cairngorm group, Bynack Moor is a peak of some individuality and character and shows its finest aspect to the north above the forest of Abernethy. From here it forms a fine conical peak, unusual in the rounded Cairngorms, and today it's no exception. Sitting alongside its smaller brother of Bynack Beg, 
it looks absolutely amazing and we just can't wait to get up there and have a look around. Nearly there, nearly there. So this, uh, this bit, quite flat. There's a long flat bit. You can see behind us here. And then, right up in the sun up there. I think probably a couple of hundred meters. That last bit. Now up the top. So it's uh, pretty gentle, and then a wee pull to the top. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Number two hundred eighty-two today. Fantastic. I think we should be up here in 20 minutes or something like that. Half an hour. Take our time. Are you getting a roll in the snow? So this last wee section of the hill took us a wee bit longer than the 20 minutes we anticipated. So if you haven't been here before, prepare yourself for a wee steep pull and maybe a few wee false summits too. Banach Moor, standing at 1,090 metres. That's us at the top. That's us at the top at Banach Moor. Look at that view. Absolutely spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. So we've got to just sit here and get a tea for a wee five minutes. And I think we've got to go down and have a wee look at the tours down here. Uh, down to the left, down there. But special. What an amazing place, what an amazing place. So show you the tours down there before we head back. Brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> So we're just down here at the, the barns of Bynack. This is Andy's shout. I never knew about these, these big tours. It's only like uh, 10 minutes just down off the, the summit. Uh, pretty spectacular. 
Pretty big, spectacular big formations of rock. Well, uh, yeah. Hello. Pretty spectacular. Wow, wow, is So after a fantastic day of amazing views and massive skies, it was time to sit down and enjoy a well deserved lunch. And just look at those views, absolutely amazing. This is just walking back in the dark. We've uh, this is five hour Munro. Five hour Munro. <laughs> we just spent so much time up there, just sitting about and watching the inversion and going down to the tours and flying the drone. Uh, that I can't see. Can't see. I'm walking <laughs> the light right now. Anyway, aye, we took a little longer than we thought, but we had all day. We're staying in the van. Staying in the van tonight, so we've got to do a wee walk tomorrow. So there's no hurry. So we're walking back, we've got to bring a head torch and everything. <laughs> so we'll get a bit Always 3k. Be Always be prepared. 3k <laughs> to go last. That's us back, back in the van. Paddy, being fed, a wee drink. And uh, that's us for the night. But it's been a crack day, a long day. But a great day. So a wee cup of tea now, get sorted and see what the Mora brings. But thanks for watching again. Thanks for joining us on this weird adventure. Right, catch you next time. Bye. When I said farewell to Whiskey Hills, I meant it. So those fun trips to Rum Springs, they had to end. No more Mexican death breath that's freshly minted. I'm just here to say we won't see me again. So I sold the place.